So my buddy gave me a whole bunch of hard drives that he decided to use as a target practice first. So now I get to dismantle them and pull out the bullets and clean them up a little bit before I melt them down. But uh, I'll have to show you here what those look like here in a sec. That's just a few of them. I've got a whole stack of probably 30 or 40 drives that he handed me the other day. So we'll get these torn apart and turned into aluminum ingots here in the next few weeks. It ended up being a few less drives than I thought. Uh, the box was full of um, CD-ROMs and uh, floppy drives as well. But we'll take a look here at what the pile looks like, and you can tell different calibers that went through some of these. 9mm was stopped by it, and uh, any of the rifle rounds blew right through it. So there's what the magnet looks like after being hit by a 9mm. This 9mm is flat. The ingots you see here aren't just from the hard drives from earlier in this video, but a number of other hard drives I've had stacked up around the house for the last year or two. Originally, when I was melting this down, I tried to remove all of the magnets, of the controller boards, anything that wasn't direct aluminum, um, the motor specifically, things like that. But in the end, since the temperature I'm getting up to wasn't enough to melt copper, I wasn't too worried about cleaning all of that out, and I found it much easier just to take the hard drives in whole, toss them into the bottom of my crucible, in this case that cast iron pot that we've seen in previous videos, um, these drives fit probably about four or five standing upright in there, so it made melting down these drives much quicker and easier than had I spent the time to dismantle everything. With that said, though, there probably are some other metals that are in there that are not aluminum. So what I've been doing is casting each of my ingots in a different form factor. Uh, muffins, in this case, are all hard drives. I think I mentioned that in a previous video as well and this will allow me to make sure when I reuse these down the road I have a better idea of exactly what type of aluminum or aluminum alloy in this case that uh, these drives are. We'll see if it matters really it's going to come down to what I'm casting and no I have no idea what I'm going to use all this stuff for and a future video I'll actually show all the different ingots I have. Um, last, I, last I counted I had probably close to 140 pounds, maybe more, uh, at this point in time. I haven't actually weighed it in quite some time. We'll see, and that's in an upcoming video, I'm sure. Thanks for watching.